Hello, my name is Judy West and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Today we're using rice paper and paint to decorate a terracotta pot. This is my sample one and this is the one I'm going to work on in the video. And uh, just so just stay with me and I'll give you a quick introduction to faster decorating to get a pretty pot. I've got rice paper that I um, bought years and years ago, probably 25, 30 years ago. But I've noticed that you can now get rice paper um, again um, and in a much wider range of designs um, and patterns than I've got here. And some are not just a um, repeat pattern but they're very um, a decorative picture so but the the thing about rice paper is that it's very strong I'll just grab some here and it rips very you can rip it but it's not fragile see I can pull on that and yeah it tore there but it's it's pretty strong and when I wet it it doesn't fall apart like napkins do so um, with that strength it makes it really good to add glue and stick it onto surfaces like terracotta pots or clay pots now what i've done is i've um, done this on a terracotta pot by ripping the rice paper first and then sticking it on so it gives a nice all over pattern to to the um the pot very pretty and very easy no artistic skill needed no drawing skills needed um, you just pick one rice paper and you just keep going over the top now what i did with this pot so that those colors would be very vibrant is i painted the pot white first so we're going to paint a little pot white first and then we're going to add the uh, rice paper over the top so we'll just do that now now to do this i'm using uh, joe sonia on artist colors because they keep their color they're a good artist acrylic uh, mid-range price not the dearest on the market but they will will stay color fast and uh, that's what I like about them on these pots in the outdoors you could use a white or a cream an off-white just a light color so that the rice paper can be very strong and vibrant this is what you do with uh, napkins too you put a, a, a light color down so that because the paper is still a bit on the transparent side even though rice paper is stronger than napkin paper it's still transparent and you can see the underground uh, the background color that it's sitting on through the paper so if you want the paper to take on that background colour, then by all means use a colour behind it. But if you want it to be vibrantly the colour that the rice paper is, then you need to put white behind it so that it won't uh, dull the paper down or dull the colours down. Now, if you're not into um, uh, buying acrylic paints but you've got some leftover house paint especially an outdoor paint in white there's no reason why you could or if you're going to use this indoors an indoor paint doesn't have to be specifically what I'm using so once you've got that on you need to let it dry but so while that's drying the next thing I need to do is rip up the rice paper into small pieces now this is a really little pot so I need to make the rice paper smaller than I would if I did that large this larger pot I think I might do this one I like this purple so let's see what we can do with this I think that's very pretty so you just get your rice paper I put them in plastic sleeves like that so that when I'm ripping it up if I've got any leftover little bits I can put them in uh, I can uh, come back and uh, use them at a later date see I've got those there 
and all you do is just rip the paper. Don't want these pieces too big because they've got to go around a curve and if they're too big they're going to buckle and get creases and folds in them so you don't want them to have to um, you want the paper to sit flat and when you're putting it on you're actually going to overlap the sheets over the top of each other so you'll get dark bits and lighter bits because of that which adds to the pattern if you see here I've got some very dark sections and some quite light sections and that's where the patchy pieces have been put over the top got some nice it's got gold on this as well as light and dark lavender and white there's gold lines on this as well so it's quite a pretty paper this one I'm going to use this Liquitex acrylic medium because it'll stick it and it's a sealer as well and it's it's good for indoors and outdoors but you can use any sort of glue that will go on paper and a non-porous surface like terracotta so whatever glue suit you've got um, that's what you can use on this um, it depends on whether you're going to put it outside or inside whether you um, are going to worry about um, the type of glue that it is now if I just put that down and get that wet to start with then I can start placing these on and pushing them in to the shape of the pot and overlapping them so there's no white showing through at all I need to go clean that water because um, it's got white paint in it and we're getting white coming out in the brush so I'll be back. I don't like this big brush. I'm going to change it. I need the bristles to be a bit stronger. And uh, those bristles aren't pushing down hard enough. You've got to push it down with the bristles to make sure you get rid of any bumps or ridges. And notice I'm overlapping so that there's no white showing through whatsoever. Now I'm working my way methodically around this. I'm not um, just putting one here and one here and there. I'm working my way around methodically so that I waste the least amount of paper. You could probably use stiffer bristle brushes as well with this paper because it's not going to tear like rice paper will. So um, if you didn't have these soft bristle brushes you could use your stiff bristle brushes and it's not going to upset the the apple cart move that and I can pick this up and put it back down again because it doesn't tear if this was napkins it would tear but because it's rice paper um, it's not going to rip if you pick it up while it's wet just make sure when you're putting it on that you're putting on the right side of the paper rather than have a straight edge in the middle of your design put it to the edge of your um, your pot where you want a straight edge I'm nearly finished so this is quite a quick activity it'd be something you could do with your grandkids it'd be a great activity to do with your grandkids very easy to do and uh, they could make little um, pots for Christmas to put goodies in them or Easter pots for putting Easter eggs in if they're into growing veggies or thing and plants they could use their pots to um, put their little plants in and make a very decorative little pot garden so uh, it's very easy to um, to do this activity uh, there we are there's our little pot now you could go over again the whole lot with what's left of your part your sealer and just give it a, a nice coating all over just a protective coating 
and once the pot's dry this part of the pot's dry then I would do this part and the inside as well just to give it a nice shiny finish but I'd certainly wait for this bit to dry first so that you can sit this down on its rim in order to let this bit dry as you can see by the rim I've actually sealed the rim now put some of that Liquitex on it as well to give it a nice shine and I've uh, sealed inside as well so that it all looks the same and as you can see by the all over it looks like an all over pattern it doesn't look like a lot of pieces of paper stuck together it looks like a nice all over pattern so there we are that's the project for this video I hope you enjoyed that and uh, have fun making some pretty pots bye for now if you enjoyed this video today please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell to be notified of my new videos